Summary writing is today's lesson. You must first print off a copy of the summary lesson worksheet in order to work through this lesson. If you've not yet done so, please pause the video and print the lesson worksheet. Once you've done this, you may continue. In order to write a summary, we must first understand the purpose of summer, summary writing. We use summary to illustrate that we understand the gist of a larger text we have read. This means it is a brief account. We're telling others what the original text was about, but we're doing it in far fewer sentences. At this point, I want you to pause the video, turn to your worksheet, and define summary in your own words. When you're done, return to the video. Creating a summary is not as easy as you might think. In order to do it properly, there are several, there are several steps in creating a well-written summary. Think of the summary process in this way. In order to create a summary, you have to go from step to step. It's like crossing a river on stepping stones. If you miss a step, you'll fall in the river. So, follow the steps carefully. The first step is to find the topic. To find the topic of the original piece, simply ask yourself this question. What or who is the selection about? Be sure you understand the topic of the text. You can't go any further in the summary process without understanding the topic. If you don't understand what the piece is about, stop and read the text again. Okay, let's read this piece. This will be our original text. As I read through the original text, try to determine the topic of the piece. In other words, who or what is the text about? Let me read. The leader Tecumseh. According to the old stories, Tecumseh was the kind of person to whom people were drawn. When he walked into a room, people were captivated by his presence. In large part, this was because of his physical appearance people found him attractive. However, he also presented himself with confidence. He spoke eloquently and passionately. In addition to his physical appearance and his speaking skills, Tecumseh also had, a strong, had strong beliefs. He believed that First Nation people had a right to the land that was their traditional territory. He stood up for those beliefs, even risking his own life in several battles and eventually dying in battle trying to protect First Nations' rights. His commitment to his beliefs, his skills as a political leader, and his intelligence as a warrior made both his allies and his enemies respect him. People were, indeed, drawn to this man. Okay, so that's our original text, and what we're going to attempt to do over the next little while is to summarize this piece, but we're going to do it step by step. Do you think you know what the topic of this original text is? I want you to write it down on your worksheet. Pause the video and come back to the video once you've done this. Have you written your answer down now? Now, let's see if it's correct. Were you correct in identifying the topic? Next, you need to determine the main idea of the text. But you might be asking yourself, how do I do that? Maybe this will help you. Once you find the topic, and in this case we've decided that our text is about Tecumseh, then you ask yourself this. What is the author saying about the topic? If you can answer that question, you found your main idea. What do you think the author is saying about Tecumseh in the text we just read? Give it a try. What is the main idea? In other words, what is the author saying about the topic? Go ahead and pause the video here. Write down a short phrase or sentence that tells me what the main idea is. Use your worksheet. Did you get it right? 
The author is saying that people were drawn to Tecumseh. Step three. Step three in the summary process is determine is to determine supporting details. In our example, you must ask yourself what supporting details back up the idea that Tecumseh, the people, were attracted to Tecumseh. Okay, let's look at our example again, reread the text, and write down in point form the details that support the main idea. Pause the video here to complete the task on your worksheet. When you're done, return to the video. Are you done? Okay. Did you list some of these points? If so, you're on track. Okay, so we've done all this prep work. Only now can we actually start to write the summary. So the first thing you should do is go back to that rough work. Let me show, show you how to incorporate all this information into a summary so that you give only a brief overview of the text. Take a look at this example that a student wrote for me. Notice the following. Let's look at the first sentence. In the text, the leader Tecumseh, the author explains that Tecumseh was a person who people were drawn to. Notice that the first sentence of the summary states the name of the text and the main idea. The main idea has to be included in that first sentence. Let's look at the next two sentences. Tecumseh was physically attractive, confident, and spoke well. He also had strong beliefs, was an intelligent warrior, and a good political leader. Notice that these two sentences give an overview of some of the supporting details used by the author to show that people were drawn to Tecumseh. Notice that they are brief and don't contain nearly as much detail as the original text. Now let's go to the last sentence. The last sentence concludes the summary by restating the main idea. If you look at the example here, this is how the student ends the summary. This illustrates that in the text, the author illustrates why people are drawn to Tecumseh. Okay. <clears throat> when you get to the grade 10 literacy test, you will be asked to summarize a text. However, the question is going to look a little bit different. So go ahead and read what's on the screen. In an OSSLT style summary question, it usually reads something like this. State a main idea of this selection and provide one specific detail from the selection that supports it. Notice on the OSSLT, they don't use the word summarize, but that's what they want you to do. In addition, notice that they are only asking you to provide one detail, not several. Okay, you go ahead and try it. At this point, you're going to pause the video again, go to your worksheet, complete the question, and when you're done, come back to the video. Okay, does your answer look something like this? In the text, the author explains that Tecumseh was a person who people were drawn to. Tecumseh had strong beliefs and stood for those beliefs. This illustrates why people were drawn to Tecumseh. Does your answer look like this? Does it begin by stating a main idea? And do you include a detail to support that main idea? Okay, now you're ready to attempt your own summary. Remember though, you need to follow these four steps. Determine the topic, determine the main idea, determine the supporting details, and then, and only then, can you write your summary.
If you follow these steps, you'll be successful at writing your summary.